Hari, okay. To go. Okay, go, go. I told you her. Come. No, I'm not coming. Nah, nah, pa, pa. Hey. One, nah, nah. Just bringing it back there. Kana magi podcast. Okay, sorry, That's MJ. Okay. They're going to back us to get ice cream, so she wanted to know if yeah. I want some. Respecting the traditional custodians, we acknowledge the Tarabul and Ghana peoples as the original inhabitants of the lands now known as Brisbane and Adelaide. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging, and recognize their enduring connection to the land, waters, and culture. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Brown Girls Down Under. This is episode 31. So we are officially into our 30s. Um yep. and yes, we are sorry we haven't been too consistent with our videos. It's been a bit up and down. Things have been going on, you know. Lots happening, yeah. but we are going to try and get back into regular posting and regular recording. Yes. <laughs> How have you been, Desh? Ah, uh, quite good. I have been, um, uh, I think, trolled by the weather because, um, well, not trolled, deceived more, like more like deceived by the weather because, um, when I last checked the weather app for this week, it said like we were gonna have like some days that that was twenty seven degrees, but it was still freezing. There was oh, some wow, sun, really? but only on the weekdays when I was inside the office, which is so unfair. That's I major trolling though, like 27 and it's I, still freezing. It is. It was. <laughs> I I don't think it got to 27 even. I think maximum it was like 23. And the, well, I don't mind 23 as long as like there's lots of sun, you know. Yeah, of course. And and it's a weekend so I can go outside. True. Yeah. But it wasn't. I was just stuck in the office. Yeah. Um So that wasn't very good, yeah. but other than that, it has been like so. It was a short week for us because mm, Monday same. was a yeah. public holiday. Yeah, for us. Uh, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna be. I think I have spoken about this before, where I really like to be very productive on my like days off, and I like yeah. to just relax on when I'm working. <laughs> But so I was hoping to be very productive, but then Sunday night, we like some of our friends, um, we went to dinner. Oh, we went to Holy Moly first, and we oh, played nice. some mini golf. Yeah. And then we went out to this new Sri Lankan restaurant. Mm, okay. Uh, for dinner, and then we went to one of my friends' place, and then all of them started. Some of them started playing pool. Mm. They got a new pool table. Oh, cool. And then we peak that, we adulting a pool table. <laughs> I know, right? And to be honest, I don't really like no, pool. No, me much. neither. I don't see the appeal, yeah. honestly. Like golf and pool, exactly. I don't understand. Girl, same. No. I don't think I'll ever go. But no. I'm sick of mini golf. I'm sick of golf. Yeah. In general. Yeah. And I have this constant, like I have this ongoing argument with someone at work. Not argument. We'll just. discussion mm. how i don't believe that golf is a sport i so agree i so yes! agree <laughs> yes i'm sorry okay i, I think it's a i, I think we should I, i i think that it's um i don't i don't want to how do i say this nicely <laughs> how do i, I say this without offending people <laughs> <laughs> yeah I understand that it's a it's a hobby and it's great for you. It's yeah. great for networking. Mm. I understand all of that, but let's it's call not a it sport. like a rec. It's not a yeah, sport. Yeah, let's call it a recreational activity or something. Yes. Like you can't call Monopoly a sport, yeah. right? You can't. It's a board game. Yeah, like I always Same with I, chess. I, I don't know I, how. I, I don't get it. How is this a sport? Yeah, I ask people this who are like really into golf. I'm like, so what body apart from your arms and like your brain maybe? Like what? What do you use? Like how? How is this exercise? How like it makes no? They're like, oh no no, you need core strength. I'm like, to do what? To like hit a ball? Like I, I guess you. I mean, look, I understand. Okay, maybe you need a bit of core strength, but and maybe you get a little bit of um, well, not cardio, but maybe you get a little bit of activity because it's a 
big area and if you're walking you instead walk. of driving yeah. that stupid yes. thing yeah. the, the um, buggy. then i guess you get the steps but what pisses me no. off most is like of the most is that people are like oh you know i feel like i'm not moving my body at all i feel like i'm gaining a few pounds so, uh, uh, so i'm just gonna go play a sport and then they go play <laughs> golf so what's the point? Just play an actual sport or just go to the gym. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Like that's not that's not mm. that's not what it's meant for. But if you want to network, if you want to relax, yeah. if you want to just that's you know, have a good time. Yeah. I'm all for yeah, it. Okay, I do it. I still wouldn't do it because no. it's just so it looks so boring to me, but I agree. Um, I agree. We need same with We chess. need to put it on a t-shirt. Golf is not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> exactly but also yeah also why is ch- i think look i think chess is a well i don't know if it's a sport i i understand like it's very intellectually challenging mm. and it's like it's good i love it i love that but let's call it something else like let's not call it a sport like i actually want to now i'm intrigued i want to know like what is the literal definition, the definition. of sport like does it mm. actually say like physical like a physical movement or does it say that or is it like maybe we should look we should this. look if it. someone wants to look it up please because my comment. phone's busy at the moment <laughs> so if you can do that that'll be great and if you're a golf enthusiast and you want to yeah. have a go at us please do Prove so. us wrong. <laughs> yeah exactly because we'd like to know but yeah anyway where was i, I going mean, oh yeah i did play yeah and then we play for Anyway, the story is that I was at my friend's place until like 5 a.m. Monday morning. And then I got home and then Zoe was like, where the hell have you two been? (laughs) Zoe was like so mad. She's like, and she was shocked. And she was like, is this the time you guys come home? This is unacceptable. Did she go all brown parent on you? (laughs) (laughs) And then we apologized and then we cuddled and we went to bed. And then she woke up like two hours later because that's, when she wakes, she wakes up, up. <laughs> so did she stay she's awake like, okay, for I'm you ready guys to have fun. no so what mj did was like mj left like his hoodie on our bed and she just curls oh, okay. up in the hoodie and then she sleeps yeah oh, cute. we usually if we're not coming home like until very late we would leave like there's like her fairy blankie or like mj's hoodies like she sleeps on either of them oh, so okay. we just leave it on our bed so she just sleeps there. Um, but yeah, she wasn't happy. And then my whole Monday was ruined because I woke up at like 1 p.m. Yeah. The whole day was gone. Um, but yeah, but we still had fun at our friend's place. So we started playing this random card game and it was like really good. Mm. But um, how was your public holiday? Mine like? was, what did we even do? I don't even remember. Oh, my mom and my parents, I took them to the circus. There's um, like a world famous ah. circus called Cirque du Soleil. I don't know if I'm saying properly, probably not. Um, but like it happens every year. They come, they travel to Australia every year. So they did a oh, show. Oh, so they're not from Australia. No, no, no. They're like, a, I think they're I'm pretty sure they're ah. Canadian. It's like a Canadian because their head office is in Canada um wow. yeah so I took my parents to that and they loved it they had like the best time ever and it was like the Aww. theme this year was like Mexican so the one in Sydney they had a show okay. in Sydney and that was like an African theme and this one was a Mexican theme so obviously it was very colorful like the music was beautiful Aww. like it was really nice it was beautiful um and I like the fact that there were no animals which you know I like fully yeah. endorse and fully support so it was really nice. Um, so, yeah, Aww. that's all we did. And speaking of Zoe, I think you will really like my new mug. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did you get it so from? For those of you who can't see, here it is. It's, I got it from an op shop for $1. Oh, like, I need to I know, to and I'm like, shop. I need to show you this and I need to show it to you on camera because it's so cute. And it's such a... It looks so dainty. It is. So I like, feel like some like yeah. li- like old lady drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I hate this character, but remember Umbridge. Umbridge. Exactly what I thought of. Exactly yes. what I thought of. I was like, I mean, um, not the mo- not my most favorite character from Harry Potter, but it's okay. Like I yeah. like I feel like her drinking <laughs> it. I know. That's what I thought of. Yeah. As well. But also this week we had so. 
as a part of our graduate program, um, we have to like get into groups and then we had to research about like a current business problem within our business and then we have to put forward a solution and then we have to and this happens over the course of like eight to 12 months Mm. and then we have to present our business case presentation to some business leaders so that was this week and girl oh my god this has been like so it, the past couple of weeks because anticipating mm. this week has been like so stressful and then our project was something related to like improving company culture it was like a people project so not not so much like adding like a dollar value or saving costs or anything like that um so we put our presentation together we practiced so much and i was like when i said so much i was constantly saying this in the shower <laughs> on my way to work wow. oh, it was like if anyone says so it was related to like people on boarding and stuff mm. like that um so i was like at one point i was like if i hear one one person say on boarding one more time i'm gonna throw up like it was we practiced that much yeah. and then um guess what happened so we put together this presentation and then it wasn't like it's not that big of a deal but it's just this is something that you have to do in the grad programs Mm. it's like because you're presenting to the business leaders it's you're like you want to be like your best self of course yeah and then um so we make this presentation we practice our scripts everything's perfect and then um, so there were two groups who presented before us and they both had like technical difficulties oh, okay. <laughs> um, with the presentation, uh, which is fine. And they, they did really well even after that. And then um, when we started presenting, so I was in charge of like doing the acknowledgement of the country. So I did that. Um, that's all good and then so I started off the presentation and then I was just like and I was also in charge of like clicking the <laughs> slides with the clickety click the thing which I hate yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, so I'm clicking the slide and one of the slides is missing and that's one of the slides that I'm supposed to be presenting I'm like um i'm just like and i'm clicking and it's gone to that it's kept it looked like it's kept one side so i click back and then it's gone to and i was oh. like i'm having a fit <laughs> in the middle of this presentation i'm like um wow. <laughs> and then there's this girl next to me and i'm looking at her and then she's looking at me like everyone's looking everyone in my group's looking at me like i'm crazy and i'm like do you because they don't know because I'm doing the clicking thing, right? They can't see the laptop in front oh. of me. And I'm like, where's the f-ing slide? <laughs> oh no! But anyway, it wasn't. So what happened? Yeah. And then I think, and then we, um, so I think we let everyone know that. Well, I let like the person next to me know that there's a slide missing. But then it wasn't. So the 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 slide was like explaining a certain timeline. Oh. But I remembered all of the like bits in that timeline. So I just because I remembered my script. So it wasn't oh. that. Big of a deal, so but. you practicing in the shower and practicing on the road <laughs> actually paid off. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, and I think I paused. A little bit more so people actually had time to understood the steps that i yeah. was explaining maybe that helped hopefully yeah. but you know it's funny this kind of I mean, not, I don't, not the, sorry sorry to interrupt you but when on the day of our wedding ryan was meant to give the speech and oh. his phone literally just died on him as soon as he went to the podium <laughs> And like I, I don't really have a fear of public speaking, but he does. And yeah. he was like, my, oh my phone never ever done that. And it just as soon as he got there, it just died. So, what did so he, he do? just went off the top of his head and just said what he remembered Aww. from the speech. <laughs> Which is like pretty impressive Aww. for him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good on him. Yeah. That must have been like, yeah. Anyway, I was like I, I'm also not a huge fan of, like, public speaking. But then, yeah. Uh, like, it was the worst time. And, like, I checked all the slides before I went to the podium as well. Like, it was there. And all of a sudden... Like, of course it had to be your one, right? Out of everything. Exactly. 
But anyway, it wasn't that bad. <sighs> <laughs> and we story. got the most questions. Oh, and like, of course. I hate when I people like, ask you questions. It's like, shut up. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, shut up. Like, you can, okay? you can like, email you me have, about that. <laughs> or you can ask me all these questions after the presentation. Yeah, when we're alone. Like, this is not, I'm not enjoy being up here. Okay, I'm not having the time <laughs> yeah, of my exactly, life being up here. Exactly. Can we just, like, stop? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Anyway, <laughs> but that was that. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> But it was fun and uh, it was fun as in not the actual presentation, but it was fun like working with the group of like grads. Mm. Um, yeah. And then one of these girls in uh, one of the girls in my group came up to me and said like, oh, I, I was I listened to your last uh, podcast. Episode oh, that's last so week, sweet. Dashani. It was really good. And um, she's been so supportive. She's like the nicest person. Um, and she's like. Oh, you know, listening to your podcast makes me want to do one with my friend. And I'm like, girl, That's so it. cute. I actually yeah. had a few people tell me that as well, like uh, message really? me saying they kind of, they took it as kind of the push that they needed to do it as well, which is really nice. I was Aww. like, oh, that's so sweet. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was like, girl. If you want to come to a podcast, yeah, just hit me exactly. up. Yeah, exactly. We can just yap together. We can. See, that's, <laughs> yeah. this is what I was going to say. Because I feel like uh, I remember at the last during the last episode, we said we're trying to keep it a little bit shorter. And we got so many people oh. say, do not <laughs> keep it short. <laughs> Which I was not expecting. I fully thought people would be yeah. like, no, you need to just shut up. But yeah, even today, MJ was like, try to keep it short. And I was like, well, I'll try. I can't make any promises. I don't know but. about that, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. We're not famous for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, right. for, I mean, speaking of this week and also making it a segue into the topic that we want to talk about, um, I yeah. mentioned my parents are still here. Unfortunately, they are leaving tomorrow, which I'm very sad about. Oh. I don't want to start talking about it too much because I will start crying. So I'm not going to oh. get too much <laughs> into it um, because I've literally just before I started recording had a big cry and now I'm OK again mm. and then I will cry again. Um, anyway, so what we wanted to really talk about was, I think a few people had also asked us um, yeah. regarding this, like to talk about our experience, like moving over, like abroad at like, you know, relatively young and yeah. all that. And we've obviously touched on that in a few episodes, but I feel like I just wanted to talk about your experience as well, Dash, and my experience as well. Yeah. I feel like we were different people when we moved at that point in our life, right? Yeah. And just before yeah. the podcast, you and I were briefly talking about it. And you mentioned, and I mentioned as well, like if we were to do it now, it'll be mm. so much harder and we probably wouldn't do it unless we really had to. Yeah. And like we were saying, we don't know how people who are older, like with families and kids and all that, that like it would be so much harder with them for them to yeah. do it when they've got really yeah. strong roots where they are so yeah, yeah what was your kind of experience when you moved here how yeah. was it was it easier to let go or like was it like what was your expectation th- versus reality like I guess I think when I did I just finished my advanced level exams and then my mom asked if I wanted to study abroad and then I was like I at that point like, I didn't have any relationships. I just had mm. friends. Like, I didn't have anything to, like, hold, hold me you. there. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, why not? Like, I didn't have a reason to say no. Mm. Besides the, like, I and I didn't, I think I had just, just also, like, said, yeah, sure, why not? Because, like, I didn't even have, like, I, if I had, like, taken some time to think about it, I would have probably chickened out of it. Because I'm like, oh, it's too, like, scary. It's an unknown environment. But I'm also like, I want to push. Like I, I like to think that I'm very independent. Even though when yeah. I was in Sri Lanka, I was not. So I <laughs> just wanted to be a little bit more cool as well. So I was yeah. like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, yeah, yeah. And then my mom's like, oh, okay, let's go meet like someone. Mm. Um, and then I feel like I just uh, probably I just did that. So if I remember correctly, I came to Australia and. February 2017 mm. and then 
the whole process started around like October 2016. Oh, okay. So I didn't even have time to like properly process, process it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, got the offer, like, you know, got the enrollment, got the visa. Like it all happened very fast. And mm. I didn't like, I feel like we, if I remember the timeline correctly, I remember like getting the offer and then my mom had already started to like pack my bags <laughs> and she was very excited about it. I think she was, I didn't even <sighs> have time to process it, but she was very excited because she had, I think she... One less kid. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think she's really wanted to like mm. go abroad and like... I don't know if she wanted to study abroad, but she had wanted to like explore. Like she likes traveling. Yeah. So I guess she kind of wanted that for me. And yeah. then she just did everything. So I just, yeah, I didn't have time to process it. And then next minute I was like here. Here. Yeah, yeah. With her. Yeah. And then, so I guess, and after that, after obviously being here, I think I was kind of like, um, and because I came here with her as well, I just mm. didn't feel it as much because, like, I was, like, of, I had my, like, sisters and my mm. father in Sri Lanka, but I had my mum here, like, the mm. first three weeks. So we were just, you know, walking around. We were just having fun, and that was good. And then I think what, when it hit me the most was, like, when I dropped her back to the, to airport. the airport for her to go back to Sri Lanka. And then the next day I woke up, and then I was like, what? the hell am I going to yeah, do now? Like, yeah. I remember, I think I have told this before, I woke up, I made myself like a hot chocolate and then I started like, and I threw, threw up the whole thing. Oh. I got ready and then I went outside the house and I threw up the whole thing. I, oh. I don't think it was anything to do with the hot chocolate. I think it's just the way I was feeling yeah. because I was like very nervous, very like, I think that's when it, not even when I got to Australia, that's when it actually mm, hit, hit me. You. Like, yeah. you're by yourself. Yeah. Like, you don't mm. know anyone here. Mm. So, and then I remember, I think I had a car, but I was, because, you know, in uni you don't have parking, so I was still taking the bus to uni, and I was, like, crying the whole way, oh. the whole bus ride. But you can't, like, I feel like, Yes, it was hard, but I it was like a different kind of um, toughness or like if a different experience because yes, you're feeling awful, you're feeling sad, but you can't pick up the phone and ring your mom. Yeah. Because then you you know that they're gonna they're feel gonna horrible, sad, but they yeah. can't do they they can't, they do, can't anything. do anything about it. Mm. And that's when I was like, this is some kind of like this is a different kind of strength that you're gonna have to develop now mm. because you're gonna have to be responsible for yourself um and you can't ask for help from your family because you don't want to like you don't want them to worry about Mm. you yeah so and you gotta protect them from your feelings and the hardships that you go through so that's a different kind of strength and that's a different kind of like it's a different kind of loneliness because Mm. you know I wasn't in a relationship or anything like Mm. that so I didn't Actually, I even if like I did, like I'm not the type of person who was very expressive at that point in my life. Mm. Um, and I've had like so many friends and everything and I was an extroverted person. And then all of a sudden to come to a country and be like really by yourself was mm. very challenging. Um, and I don't think when I was because I came here when I was 20. Yeah. And at that point, I don't think I've. I was as attached to my parents as I am now. No. Uh, but now I'm just like, I would do anything to go back and spend more time with mm, them. Like, I feel yeah. like I'm just, I feel like there are times where I, when I think like I made a mistake because I've lost so much time with them already. Um, I agree. So that's yeah. the kind of, I think that's kind of my thought process and how I felt back then and how I feel now. And I think, I believe, like, you were a bit older than that when yeah. you came. So yeah. how was that process for you? Yeah, it was the same. you like, also had Ryan. Um, yes and no. Yes so, and no. Yeah, so we were dating then, but it was very new in the relationship. And obviously he was in Melbourne. I was here. But at least yeah. I had someone I can just pick up the phone and talk to. Uh, but like yeah. you say, similar to yours, I came when I was 24. 
Um, mm. And my mom came with me for the first few weeks. And it was the same, like, you know, she did everything. She cooked and did, like, pretty much set it up all in place. Yeah. And then when she just left, I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I feel yeah. like at that point, like you say, I wasn't as attached to them as I am now. Mm. So back then I was obviously because they had just moved out of out of home right so it's like yeah. all still like so exciting and new and you're in australia exactly. like exactly it's amazing. scary but it's also exciting, exciting at the same time yeah. because it's like you've got the freedom that you've always wanted yeah exactly exactly and like i mean i had the freedom i didn't have a lot of money because i wasn't working yet but still mm. i have the opportunity to find a job that I want to do yeah. you know and yeah. the fact like it's so funny because obviously I was so naive back then I think like obviously finding mm. a, hot, a job is quite difficult but mm. because it was my first time it just didn't like I didn't comprehend how hard it was for me it was just like oh I can do any job and I can earn I money know, yeah. you know <laughs> like like very silly I mean I'm very lucky I must say that I got a job within three weeks mm. but I was thinking like it could, but I was quite persistent with applying as well. Yeah. And it could have gone very different, you know. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. So the fact that I pushed and I'm very glad it worked out and mm. like, you know, that I started getting some money and I was like, wow, this is so exciting. This is amazing. And like this country that I have traveled since I was a little child too. And it was like mm. always this beautiful holiday destination. But now I get to like live here and, you know, I've been traveling here, you know, to this holiday destination and it was so beautiful and all the shops have these shiny, amazing things. And now I get to like go and buy all that, like how exciting, yeah. right? Like at the first. Yeah. So it's like this really glamorized version of it. And then slowly, yeah. like the homesickness starts hitting. And then the fact that you have to yeah. work and like earn, pay yeah. bills, go to uni, like yeah. all that stuff is just like, oh, and then home becomes like your travel like your holiday destination yeah, yeah and then exactly. things that you just took for granted back then when you were there yeah. become like the most appealing like amazing yeah. things to you and like you said yeah. you know you feel like okay I don't know if you did you mi do a mistake by you know losing out mm. on time I feel the same oh, way 100%. yeah so yeah. I actually had a friend recently tell me that um, like they would like to go home every year, but that's at the sacrifice of going to like another destination, you know, another holiday yeah. destination. But in like when she said that in my head, I was like, I don't see that as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you feel the same, but I just feel like, yeah, to me, that I is think... that is a gift that I get to go yeah. home to be with because obviously they're not going to yeah. be around forever, you know, so to yeah, me that's exactly. like a privilege that's a gift and I don't see yeah. it as like a sacrifice that I have to make yeah and I think look I would love to be able to I think the the more I feel like because you only get now that we're adults and we have to work mm. and we have to have annual Ugh. leave to be able to travel yes. so everything that every like leave that we get is like so precious and I I think I guess now I obviously going home is like the first preference mm. but I'm also now st stuck in between a phase where like okay Dashani you're in your 20s still well I have two <laughs> more years left of my 20s <laughs> it's just like you know you've always like I know that every time like when I was a student every time like my pa my friends were like oh let's travel here let's go here mm. I'm always like no I'm not I'm either gonna save money for like my uni fees or mm. I'm just gonna save money to go to Sri Lanka that's, yeah. that's all I'm gonna do yeah and then I always told myself and I was talking to MJ about this as well and it's like when we were students we were constantly saving money for either our uni fees mm. or like for our trip to Sri Lanka or whatever and then we told ourselves that when we're done being students, we'll travel elsewhere. Mm. And now, <laughs> now that we're done being students and we're working, we're still like going to Sri Lanka. But also I want my parents to come here mm. as well. It's just that it's so hard to convince them because they're very stubborn. Um, really? So they don't want to? No, it's just that they have other commitments, like okay. grandparents that they need to look oh, after okay. and grandparents who only listen to them and, <laughs> yeah, things like that. But also, 
I feel like now I would very much love to travel to other countries, mm. like other places, even within Australia. But every time I do that, there's this an overwhelming amount of guilt mm. because it's like I this is the time I could be going home to see my mm. parents. This is the time that I could be going to like be with them, yeah. like me, maybe like be with my grandparents, especially knowing mm. like the grandparents. They're not there for a longer Long time. time. Exactly. And yep. I think the last time we went, and I we're so I'm so grateful that we went last time because we got to see MG's grandfather who passed away like a few mm. weeks after. Oh, okay. um, and we were just so grateful that we actually made the decision to go cool. and actually see them. And um, but I think it shouldn't come to that. Like you shouldn't feel guilty about that. But mm. that's the that's the expense of like that's what you get because of the decisions exactly made now. So that's it's not the reality so easy. yeah but then there are people you know who's not held back by those feelings and i'm, I'm i don't think there's any right or wrong um, i agree way or like i don't think them doing that is a is the wrong yeah. decision or is the yeah. wrong thing and mm. i don't think me just going to ho- going home every time i get a chance is also like you know you should and i know that if i speak to my parents they're like yeah go go somewhere else you don't have to come here they're, they're very much happy to do that but it's just i don't know it's just just there's so much guilt because you've already because when exactly. you go to sri lanka you see your parents and like they've aged and you're Absolutely. like you're not like yeah. how i remember, remember yes you, you do like you call them on video calls and stuff but it's very different it's when you not actually the same see them in i agree yeah yeah I so agree. that's that kind of like that kind of sadness and guilt i don't know how i haven't experienced that before and i never thought when i left the country that i would experience that i agree and that's something i think a lot of people yes we have like you know our standard of living mm. is so much higher yes we have so many opportunities and everything but I don't think that feeling mm. um, or that, that I don't think um, any any amount of opportunities that we have can you can't justify <laughs> that feeling or yeah I agree that's like the that. thing and like you say obviously I mean leave your annual leave is limited your mm. like fun like money you need money to travel then you have other commitments yeah. like you guys have an animal you have to look after like take care of all mm. of that if you've got kids then that is another commitment it's just mm. so much so little resources so little time and then you yeah. know life just passes you by and I mean, I am yeah. lucky. I'm very lucky. I should say that, you know, I get 12 weeks of leave. So I'm very blessed yeah. in that way. So even if I want, like Ryan always tells me when I'm really upset, he's like, you get leave every 10 weeks. Just go. Like, if you want to go, yeah. just go. <laughs> like, nothing is holding you back. Just go. But it's yeah. it's like, you know, you go for, you spend like $1,500 and you go for two weeks and you come back. And then like, I'm even I sadder than before I left because I know. it's so quick. <laughs> it's like over <laughs> exactly and the hardest hardest bit of that trip is like coming back yeah that that airport trip back to like Sri Lanka and like is the worst Colombo airport is like the worst thing and I was just I just wish I could just snap my fingers and I agree I agree I know <laughs> I'm like, I just want to be done with it. Like, I just don't want to go through that process. But, you know, like, this is, again, making me very emotional, so I don't want to talk too much into it. But, (laughs) like, people who lose a parent in back home, right? Like, Mm. I always think, how do you make that trip back home? Yeah. And then back. Like, at least when you're going for a holiday, like, you have something to look forward to. And then even coming Mm. back, you're like, okay, it's fine, you know. Like, I'll still talk to them. Like, I'll see them in a few months. But then yeah. if you, like, don't even have that. Yeah. Right? Like, how, exactly, how's that? Yeah. But then I think, yeah, that's, like, I, I do not wish that, that upon anyone. But I know there are plenty of people. And that's just something that we might even, yeah. like, face in future. Exactly. Because, like, you know, we are away from our parents. But I also think, like, one thing that I tell myself, I don't know if it's, if it's if I tell that to myself to make me feel better or that's just I'm just trying to get myself to understand that this is the reality 
I just tell myself that, like, if I was in Sri Lanka and if I was with my parents all the time, maybe I wouldn't have the relationship that I have with them today. I and agree. I wouldn't appreciate the relationship and I wouldn't appreciate, maybe, wouldn't appreciate as much as I do now. No. Yeah. So, and I think... Um, and I think in a way our relationship improved because I came here and I, I agree. Yep. started doing everything by myself and I learned to appreciate everything that they had done for me. Mm. And I don't think like it should be that way. I don't think you necessarily need to move, move away yeah. To, to yeah move away from your parents to realize what they had actually done for you. But because I feel like I did that at a very young age... Well, I wouldn't say very young, but at a relatively young age, I think I just my relationship with them accelerated um, positively. Positively, yeah. And I felt like I straight away understood everything that they've done for me, mm. and um, I feel like that made me a better person, and that made me mature pretty quickly, and and mature in a positive way and like also um and I remember seeing all the good things that they've done and the reason that they've done and I felt like okay this is what my parents did this is how they did this so I'm gonna adapt that myself like Mm. adapt those habits to uh, my life yeah um and I feel like if I'm like a better person today that's partly because I moved away from them and got that appreciation I agree but at the same time, you can't always have the good. Like you know, there's a bit of bad that comes with the good things yeah, in life as I well. Agree. So yeah, that's what I like. I was tra- telling myself today because I know, like, obviously, my parents have been with me for like three mm. months in total, but they were in Sydney for a month, so two months technically. Um, yeah. And they loved it. You know, like they love it here. They love like walking around, exploring. They're very independent. They do their own thing, and oh. they love it. Like they love being here. And then I was like yeah. telling myself because I was kind of beating myself up for moving away. But then I was like, mm. if I didn't, then they wouldn't be enjoying this. You know, like True. they are yeah. they are loving, like being on holiday here. And if exactly. I didn't do that, and they wouldn't yeah. have that, you know, so. Exactly. And they would like, I feel like if I was just like, they would be constantly worried about like, you know, like the way the country was heading yeah. the last few years, they would be worried about or, and they would, probably feel guilty for not pushing their child to pursue careers in another country or something like that and that's not something you want it's nice for them to be like you know now that you're here it's nice for them to be able to come in to go like come into brisbane explore brisbane Mm. you know hang out with you in a different country where like you know there's better things and like beautiful things to look at and all of that i agree and and for and i think that's a different kind of feeling when you get to give your parents what they gave you yeah. as well yeah and i don't know if i be i would be able to give it the give the same experience to them if, if i was back like home. in sri lanka i as agree well. yeah absolutely so, and i think that's a different kind of luxury yeah. and i think um it is tough it's never going to be easy i think yeah. but I think looking at the positive things and looking at the little luxuries that you get to do with them mm. now makes it a little bit better yeah makes you feel a little bit better yeah and I think also like if you think about it compared to other countries Australia is kind of closer to Sri Lanka than a lot of other countries like I I, yeah I have uh, friends living in like Europe America Canada all those places like I could still go home in a in basically a day like or way less than like half a day whereas a lot of people can't do that you know so it's and the time difference is not that bad so there is a lot of positives you know absolutely there's a lot of positives but it's just like the lost time the lost the memories all that kind of stuff is just so much harder but yeah yeah it is what it is and the thing is though you you i think no matter where we are in life i feel like there's always going to be regrets Mm. if we were in sri lanka we're going to be like yeah exactly we could have had like a better life yeah true the thing is that I think, and that's not, that's not just like, you know, Sri Lanka. That's just everyone. Everyone's going to have regrets mm. in their lives. Everyone is going to 
uh, think about a decision that they didn't yeah. make, a step they didn't take. But I think that's just life. And if it's meant to be, it will be. And I think it's also, I think we get too hung up on those like regrets and things that we didn't do in life. And that can really bring us down sometimes. Yeah. But I think, I think we all need to take a step back and learn to look at the positives and mm. then look forward to the positive things that you're going to get in mm. life. Um, and I know that it's, you know, easier said than done. <laughs> But it's, yeah, I think it's something that we can all practice. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like this, yeah. this uh, Very podcast. Awesome today. Yeah, it has been like a therapy <laughs> session that I needed. So. I know. <laughs> We're so wise, Shana. I know. Look at us. Like, so wise. Let's just move to yes. Maldives. How far is Maldives from Sri Lanka? Like three hours or something. <laughs> yeah, let's just move there. Oh, man. I mean, that, that's Imagine the that. Or let's just. Let's just cut Australia into half and just <laughs> float one half a little closer. A little bit closer. <laughs> Dude, I just wish like my dream would be like work here during the day. I mean, you and I have discussed this, like work in Australia during the weekdays and then go home, yeah. go to Sri Lanka for the weekend. <laughs> you know, 7-7 seven, seven roster or oh, true. like a four week on, four week off roster. <laughs> I know, man. Let's do that. Oh, imagine that. Like, people, people need to don't... Like, you know, people who work interstate when their parents live interstate, they don't understand that. Like, to them, it's just... Yeah. Like... Because it's just such a luxury. They can just literally fly home for the True. weekend. yeah. You know, it's yeah. such but a luxury. But remember when, like, COVID happened and everyone... And Perth co- closed, like, borders for, like, a while. And then remember mm. the... the devastating stories people hear about but you're in the same country people <laughs> shut up okay but i know i understand that it's hard being away from people but at but least you can up. drive <laughs> it'll take days but you can you drive. will find a way we can't do it <laughs> we can't swim exactly back. <laughs> you're still on the same land you can touch the earth and still connect with your family yeah. <laughs> whereas we can't <laughs> okay there's Shut water up. in between. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't God. say this, but anyway, it to is end true. it on a positive it note. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> With a good laugh. I think we needed that. But we're sorry if we made any of you really sad. But um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you are planning we on are moving sad. away, yeah. you should be sad. <laughs> if you are planning on moving away or if you have move, moved away and you can relate, let us know. If yeah. you are moving away, I'm sorry. Yeah, if we're, tra- we're not trying to scare you, but it is the reality. But um, yeah, yeah, just let us know. We'd yeah, love exactly. to have a chat. Do it because, you know, when um, you, you grow in an uncomfortable environment. So. Absolutely, yeah. And you will thank yeah. yourself one day and your family will thank you. It's just in the moment it feels horrible but exactly someone needs to take that step yeah yeah but yeah. well sucks to be you <laughs> <laughs> sucks that it's you <laughs> but anyway <laughs> we all did it you'll be fine <laughs> you'll be fine we did it too you'll be fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway okay. yeah i hope you guys have a good week ahead um stay safe and yeah stay hydrated yes. and stay happy we'll see you next time Bye, everyone.